It's a weird day because the pit's already set up. It's Wednesday today, which is normally track walk for the downhill riders. But since this is a combined event with both enduro and downhill, everyone's kind of working on enduro stuff, getting some work done early for the rest of the week. So it kind of feels like the first for us, even though there was enduro and Leo gang, this feels like the first time it's actually all in the same place. Everything's a bit different than usual. It's nice. There's a nice vibe here. I don't know if it's because the Enduro's here or if it's just because it's a nice town or because it's such a stark contrast from last week. I don't know, <laughs> but it feels like vibes are good. Our pit's flat, which is like lovely. <laughs> For once, we're in the same area all together, so that's kind of cool. And then we have all the Enduro riders here because I think in Leo Gang it was quite separate. Uh, but now we're all pretty much in the same area and there's just just across the river whatever and then most of the downhill and tech stuff is over here it's really cool it's got a town's got a good feeling but this is kind of cool everyone's around so it's got a bit of more of a festival feeling to it so it's kind of neat lots of people that I don't know or haven't seen in a long time and and so it just makes it makes it kind of cool I like the atmosphere more I like having all, like all the people I know together as long as organizers understand what kind of work it entails and we get enough time and space to do everything. Because there's nothing worse than cramming it all together and then not being able to help people the way you want to help. You know, there's always little issues like we didn't have power and everybody's tripping breakers and stuff like that, which shouldn't happen at a World Cup, but it's not the worst thing in the world. We're able to work and everybody's functioning. So what kind of work are you guys doing today then? primarily enduro product service so we got the little enduro setup here and then the big setup over there and kind of splitting up work we're helping the enduro guys out doing some enduro shocks and we're also servicing downhill juniors we're helping out jack mo and marco on the enduro their enduro stuff it's helpful so they can help us with the working on the shocks and the forks and tomorrow when is a track walk somebody of me or Giacomo will have to help them with the forks so I mean we're right next door so it's not like we're far we can see each other we can wave at each other from one pit to the other so it's not like we're stealing them far but yeah so one of them will come and do forks with me and one of them will stay in here to deal with any enduro things so that's why we're helping them today <laughs> to make today a little bit easier for them because tomorrow won't be with it being a enduro downhill event, you're one of the few people that does both. Yeah. What's the plan for this week? Um, unfortunately, we can't do both events. Well, you can't actually race both races because um, downhill qualies is when the enduro races. But at Leo Gang, you were able to race both because we raced on a Thursday for enduro and then you could bang out some practice in the morning before qualies. That's what Matt did. I think it's a good thing that the events are kind of overlapped because in Leo Gang, the Enduro was earlier in the week and it kind of felt like a full side event. So for the Enduro, I think it's a good thing to sort of stack it in with the downhill because I mean, you're gonna get downhill fans here and having us race after the downhill, our final stage, like surely people will migrate and actually watch some of it as well. So it's a good thing in that respect, but it is nice to be able to sort of double dip and get both events in. Like my plan for this season was to race the whole Enduro series and then whatever downhills we could fit in, which was like gonna pan out to be most of them. But um, yeah, got injured and stuff, so yeah. But we just try and fit in whatever we can. So I think if it was a double header, I'd probably like go and ride some downhill and try and quali. Um, but we can't, so just gonna be super fanning. Is today, do you call it track walk day? For, no. What's today no. called for enduro? Today is just the day before practice. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's day. oh, it's service day. You're right. It is okay. service day. Cool. Yeah. So, yeah. what does service day usually look like for you? We like to be the first to Fox, so we usually take our suspension off the night before, um, get it to you guys right in the morning. So 
we can get it back on the bikes as quickly as possible and go for a ride. Today I just said I'm not gonna ride mountain bikes. I got my gravel bike here. I went up and uh, did a nice climb up to the top of the downhill track and um, yeah, just like a different bike so I don't have to rush my mechanics to get the suspension back on or anything. And uh, it's a day for the mechanics to, to get the bike all dialed in, uh, build some wheels, you know, do any work that needs to be done and yeah. Do you have to work pretty hard to like balance how much you're riding versus resting during a race week? I think depending on like if it's a back-to-back -back weekend, yeah, I think you're pretty fatigued from like the race before and maybe you wouldn't do as much going into the next race because we're just coming off a big um, block at home. I'm feeling pretty fresh, ready to go. Uh, we also have this weekend a day off in between practice and race, so like managing fatigue isn't as big a deal because we have that rest day like you could probably go you know you could train pretty hard right up into practice do practice and then you, because you have that rest day you'd still be relatively fresh for the race whereas if it's uh practice and then race you might want to manage your fatigue a little bit better mm. what's the track like here uh they're good they're um they get better every year i think like they started out with the first year we got here like very narrow very tight challenging track and like as we've ridden them more and then the trail crew comes in and fixes them if they've gotten a little bit better a little bit more flow but they're definitely very French like uh, tight corners narrow in places um, but yeah I think if it's dry they're really sick they like flow really well and if it's wet it's like treacherous uh, the dirt here is super slippery a lot of clay so think like Lords in the wet. We're not far from Lords. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing, yeah. There's a lot of new things happening this week. Obviously, like we said before, there has already been a mixed downhill enduro event in Leo Gang, but this seems like it's gonna be the first one that actually feels like a mixed event where everything is happening in the same place. And the other new thing we have going on is this brand new downhill track that we haven't seen before. So we'll get to take a look at that tomorrow for track walk. So we'll see you then.